Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a very special video because I will be unboxing a never before seen real toy model. And unlike my other uh, previous review and unboxing videos where I usually pause the video pretty much in the middle of it so I can take out the plane, the vehicles, and set everything up. Um, unlike those videos, I will be doing a full actual unboxing and kind of unveiling of this model because uh, since it is a never before seen real toy model, um, I want to kind of do a whole reaction video to it. So um, without further ado, I will be unboxing the KTHY Cyprus Turkish Airlines 737 Airport Playset. So this is um, a never before seen or heard of, for me at least, uh, real toy model that I had recently got off of eBay UK a couple months ago. Um, as soon as I saw it, I actually had to kind of do a, a slight little bit of research on this model because I didn't think it actually was a real toy model at first, considering that I've never heard of it. Um, but after I got it and did some looking in on kind of the box and stuff, it should be a real toy model. Um, this is a completely new condition playset, so as you can see, it still has the plastic wrapping on it, so it has never been opened before, um, which is why it kind of will be an, an unboxing, kind of an unveiling of this plane. So, um, as far as I know of, I don't even know what the actual model itself looks like. It should look like the plane that is on the picture, but... I have never seen, uh, I, I was not able to find any actual pictures of the model itself, so uh, as far as I know, if there could be a 747 in there. Um, so I don't really know, but that's, which is why this is going to be a special unboxing video, because I will be doing a full unveiling of it. Um, so this is a very, very rare real to model, probably one of the, probably the most um, one of, definitely one of the most rarest in my collection. Um, I have never, like I said earlier, I have never seen it before, and when I saw it on eBay UK, I had to kind of do a little bit of research, so, um, after doing it, doing a lot of research, um, about the, uh, airline itself, um, I kind of was able to gather my own information for it, so, uh, the model inside should be the 737-400 mold, even though the actual aircraft is a 737-800. Um, so this is, this model was only distributed as an in-flight playset um, and was sold on board Cyprus Turkish Airlines flights probably from the early to early to late 2000s, um, considering that the livery that this plane is in uh, was used from 2000 to 2009, so probably made around the 2000, around 2005, um, and it actually is one of six, uh, different Turkish Airlines, uh, 737 models, with the other ones being the Turkish Airlines 737, the MNG Airlines 737, Inter Airlines 737, Freebird, uh, and Sunwing. Uh, Sunwing Airlines. So those were all different Turkish Airlines. You can tell because it does have the little tiny Turkish Airlines flag um, in the rear of the plane by the registration number. Um, all of those other models also have the Turkish Airlines flag somewhere on the model. So I think it's pretty interesting how there were all these different varieties of Turkish Airlines 737s that were made. Um, out of all of the Turkish models that were made, this is one of nine models um, the other uh, eight are the other five 737s that I mentioned, and then there is the technically the 777, there is the stickers version, and then there is the painted version. That painted version is the newer is the newer updated one. And then there is a Turkish Airlines A340. So um kind of is a lot of a lot of information there about the Turkish Airlines models. But so uh, this model should have a real registration number, which is TC-MAO, um, which was a real registration number for a Cyprus Turkish Airlines 737-800, um, which lasted with the airline from around the late 90s to until the airline um, ceased operations in 2010. So 
some information about Cyprus Turkish Airlines. Uh, Cyprus Turkish Airlines lasted from 1974 until 2010, and from the year of the two, pretty much the 2000s until 2010, they had a fleet size of seven aircraft that consisted of A320s, uh, an A320, A321, and 737-800. Um, and then uh, this model was in the 2000 to 2009 livery, and Cyprus Turkish Airlines was the main airline that flew passengers to and from northern Cyprus, which is which is an island located in Turkey. Um, so it, you, and pretty, that's pretty much all of the what the airline was used for. It was the main airline that had flights to and from Cyprus Island in Turkey. Um, I don't know a whole lot about that about that particular Cyprus part, but. Um, but yeah, so uh, Cyprus Turkish Airlines was a relatively small Turkish airline that lasted from that time. So um, I actually do not know what the KTHY is because the airline was just Cyprus Turkish Airlines. Um, and I actually do not know what uh, the other saying is here on the box. But so anyway, that pretty much is all of the information for the model and the airline. So. Other than what I just mentioned, I don't really know anything else considering that um, it is a very rare model that I never heard of, and I actually haven't even unboxed it yet. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to get into the review of the box. So, um, technically, with the in-flight playsets, uh, the part with the picture of the actual aircraft is technically what the front of the box is. So... Um, at the front of the box, at the top, there is the Cyprus Turkish Airlines logo, which has a really nice, really nice circular shape with the kind of sage green to it and a, a, a reddish orange color to it. And then there is the KTHY and the cool, I'd like to say that is like more of a Greek style font to it. Um, nice big bold lettering, and then there is Cyprus Turkish Airlines written displayed on the side as well. And I do not know what this says either, but um, let me know down in the comments if you know uh, what this says on the top of it as well. I tried doing a little bit of research on that, but I wasn't able to really find anything. But and then there is the airport place on the wet as well, and then the for ages four and up. So and then there is a really nice picture of the Cyprus Turkish Airlines. To me, this looks like the 737-400, but I don't really know if it's... Considering it has the registration number on it, I don't know if it's supposed to be the... Uh, if it's the 800, because it does really look like a 737-400. But anyway, there is the picture of the plane nicely displayed on the front of the box as well. Um, and then there is the design with the nice bright, bright blue sky and the sun and the clouds. Um, I do know that the inner the inter airlines airport place that has the same exact design on it um, with the background with the sun and the clouds except the plane is the inter airlines 737 so which is kind of one of the main things that I could probably pretty much tell that this should be a real toy model um, and then on the sides there is pretty much all the same information with the KTHY lettering, Cypress Turkish Airlines, and there is the die-cast metal and plastic parts on the side as well. Pretty much in all sides of the plane between the top and the left and right and then the bottom of it as well. And then for, and then on the back of the box, there is the really nicely displayed box art image of the Cypress Turkish Airlines 737 with the same logo again, KTHY, Cypress Turkish Airlines with the other lettering other words at the top airport place it and then the 737 with all of the vehicles with the bus uh pushback tug and then there is the car and the cargo carts so um something i did not mention before i was kind of waiting until i got to the review part of it so uh, this model was distributed by lupa which if you do not know what lupa is lupa holland is a distributor or was a distributor for the real-time models. I think it was really only in the 2000s and some of the part of the 2010s, uh, 2010s. Um, so uh, yeah, so Lupa Holland is, currently it still is a company that does uh, sell and distribute, distribute uh, aircraft models. 
as far as I know of, they, they, they don't distribute real toy models anymore. Uh, they are, their headquarters are located in the Netherlands, and uh, they have distributed quite a few real toy models. Uh, most of the models that they have distributed are models like this that are very rare and that you don't really know of. Most of them were playsets as well, like the in-flight playsets and stuff. The only other model I have that was distributed by Lupa is the DHL 757 airport, uh, large airport playset, the yellow DHL 757. Um, like I just said before, usually the rare models were the ones that were distributed by Lupa. So, um, Lupa is definitely a really, uh, a really cool distributor for the real time models. Um, I think it's a little bit, Lupa should be a little bit more well known at least than Nickname. Nickname, Nickname was kind of a distributor. Um, in the 1990s so lupa is usually a distributor lupa and premier planes or and so sociatech um i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right those are usually the european or uh in asia those are usually the distributors for that so um that pretty much is all of the review for the box so now i will i will try taking off the, the plastic wrapping for it so Trying to do this carefully. I always, I always feel a little weird about taking about doing the unboxing, considering that especially if it's a rare plane, especially if it's a rare plane, um, I kind of feel like it kind of does lose some of the value to it. But then it's like, then it kind of is. If you're just uh, have the plane and haven't opened it up yet, you're kind of just sitting on the shelf. So, especially the in-flight playsets, you can't really do anything with it besides look at the box so um considering it doesn't have the clear plastic on it to see through it so so i got the plastic off of it so now i will open up the plane and like i said before i i don't know what this particular model looks like so i'm trying to remember which side i was going to unbox it with. so so i use these scissors particular particularly so i don't end up cutting any part of the box since these are really thin and easy to use. Um, I don't like using, I don't like using the larger scissors because they end up leaving marks on the box. So, so I got the plane, uh, I got the box open, so now I will unveil the plane. So I'm really excited about this, I'm kind of nervous at the same time because I don't really know what to expect. Okay, so there's the pack. I'm really, I'm really nervous about this. Oh wow. I don't, I don't. I would save the plane for last, but I think the plane is kind of covering up the rest of them. So, I think I will have to take out the plane first. I guess I'll take out the plane now. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is really cool. Oh wow, this is definitely really, really detailed. So here is the Cyprus Turkish Airlines 737. So uh, luckily it is a 737 because uh, it would have been odd if it wasn't. But this is definitely a really, really cool model. Uh, definitely looks pretty much exactly like it does in the box, which is good. I mean, that's pretty much what it should be considering that if it didn't, then that would be kind of interesting. But that wouldn't be the first time that Railtoy did that. They do have other odd boxer images for different models so but here is the plane still in the plastic wrapping make sure my camera is focused so it definitely is a really cool model i will definitely after i get all of the other vehicles and signs out i will definitely get to that. so here is the cart and then should be the other the cargo carts inside there as well and their bus, and then the last part. So all of the vehicles that were displayed on the box were included in there. So, um, so trying to get a good view of the box and the plane as well. So I can see, unfortunately, there just seemed to be a little bit of a tiny little scratch on the plane. I don't know if that is a scratch or just in the plastic wrapping. I guess, I'm, I, guess I can't find out until I open it. So. Um, I guess I will start off with opening up the plane out of the box. Um, 
see. Uh, I will pause the video real quick just so I can get a couple pictures of this before I do the whole unboxing. But I will not open up the plane just yet. So I will pause the video real quick, uh, take a couple pictures of this, and then I will get back to the unboxing. So I got a couple pictures of the whole playset while they're still in the plastic wrapping. And I also took some time to just kind of cut the tape that was sealing the plastic bags that there that the plane and the vehicles and signs are in just so that way I can go through this at a little bit of a quicker pace. But I didn't take anything out yet. So um, I will be starting off with the plane since I'm this kind of the main thing goes along with the entire uh, playset, kind of the main the main thing with it. So so I hope that, I hope that isn't a scratch on the moon. So um but so here is the Cyprus Turkish Airlines 737. It is very very it has, definitely has that like new condition kind of feeling to it where the stickers are very smooth and the paint is really nice and uh, has the clear coat on it. So, um, well, here is the Cyprus Turkish Airlines 737 in the Dash uh, 400 mold to it. The actual model was the 737-800, but uh, this particular model is in the uh, Dash 400. Um, so there is a slight little tiny scratch on the nose, but really no big deal. Because sometimes I know whenever whenever the models are produced, sometimes they are made with little tiny scratches on it. But overall, this is a very nice model. Pretty much looks exactly like what it um, does on the uh, box. Pretty much looks exactly like it does on the box, except that the KTHY is a little bit... Kind of, uh, I think it does look a little bit bigger on the actual plane, which is definitely, definitely what I would consider to be definitely a good thing, um, considering that it is really nice detail. So, um, considering that I have never actually seen this model yet, so it definitely is new to me. So, um, but anyway, so I will start off with the review of the front of the plane. So. Um, at the front, there are the 737 cockpit windows with the little tiny, uh, or with the little part, with the, I keep forgetting what these are called, the part of the cockpit windows that go a little bit raised further up than the main cockpit windows. This is what the uh, older 737 models had that were made, uh, I think usually previously from like 2005 in that area, most of those were made with the uh, raised windows on the cockpit windows as well. Then there is the first cabin door, and then the nice big bold blue lettering. There's the K T H Y, and then there is the same lettering that is on the same lettering that I don't really know exactly what it says on that it was on the box. Um, I think that really interests me. That might just mean Cyprus Turkish Airlines, considering that um, it is kind of the double sided where it is written like that on. The right side and then on the left side it has the Cyprus Turkish Airlines ring displayed on there as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that does just say Cyprus Turkish Airlines in the different language. Um, that wouldn't make sense. I know a couple other airlines do have that as well, um, where they have the English and they have it written in English on one side and then a different language on the other side. So um, then there is the second and third cabin doors on the sides are on the wings kind of the emergency exits and then there is the main cabin door located at the at the rear of the plane and then there is a registration number which is t just t dash uh, tc dash m a o with the um turkish flag displayed on uh, right beside it as well like i did mention before this is one of six turkish airlines 737 models um with the turkish air or more than just the turkish airline with the flag located beside of the registration number then there is the really nice um tail design i do really like this tail design um it's simple but it also is really cool as well um with the kind of sage green coloring and then there is uh, it seems to be orange on the plane on the box or image it does definitely seem to be more of a reddish orange but the model itself it kind of does look more just plain orange 
um, and the green does seem to be lighter. Uh, and then there is, it is on the white circle as well, so you can see it better. Uh, and then there is the really nice bright blue, kind of a navy blue-ish color to it. In person, um, definitely does seem more of a navy blue, but from the camera, as I can see, it definitely does seem to be a little bit more brighter. Um, there is the kind of the difference between the plane itself and what it does look like on the tail. There is a slight difference, but um, definitely in person, the tail it does seem to be actually more darker um, than what it looks like on camera. So um, there is no design on the engines, but they are the. They actually do seem to be a different shade of white than what the undercarriage is. The undercarriage seems to be, be more of an antique white. Is what it seems like, and then the, there is the actual fuselage color, which is the just plain white. So there does seem to be, I, I think you can kind of see that on the camera, there is a different shade of white between the undercarriage and then the actual metal part of the model. So overall, um, but overall, this is a really, really nice model. I'm definitely, definitely really impressed with it. Um, and really happy that I'm really glad that I was able to get this model um considering that it is definitely not every day that you see a completely new real-time model on Instagram or not, um, on uh eBay and especially getting the chance to buy it as well so um definitely was a very very great opportunity and this is a very very rare real-time model um, pretty much is all of the review for it, oh, and then there is the um, Real Toy logo on the landing gear as well. There is no uh, manufacturing date on it as well, so definitely is pre twenty ten. Um, like I said earlier, I do think this is probably made probably was made around two thousand five in that area. Um, definitely is a really nice, really nice model, and since it is new condition, is very nice and clean. I guess I could say. Um, Stickers are very nicely placed as well, and overall is a very great model. Definitely a 10 out of 10. So now I will move on from the plane to the vehicles. So I guess I will start with the uh, pushback tug. Um, so this was the first one that I had taken out of. This was the first one that I had taken out of the uh, box before. Um, definitely, honestly, I do like, this is definitely one of my favorite tubs that I have. For some reason, it just, it def it just seems to be a lot more nicer than a lot of other ones. Uh, another one of my favorites is also the, um, Kingfisher, uh, tub that was in that one as well. Um, but so, uh, starting off the review for it. So there is the, I'm pretty sure this is all fully, yeah, this is all painted and everything on it. I know in the Kingfisher one, this was... Uh, a sticker on it, but this one is painted, although it does look like a sticker, but it has the KB Cypress Turkish Airlines uh, logo on it as well with the green and orange, the white circle has that displayed at the front of it, and then there is the nice dark blue, navy blue-ish line on the bottom with the KTHY Cypress Turkish Airlines display on the side, and then on the top there is the logo again as well. It's also really nice how the, the, um, the plastic windows definitely blend in with the coloring to it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much just the color that all of the plastic windows are and all of the tugs. And then it does come with the little um, pushback, the little hook to it that you attach to the plane. Um, so yeah, pretty much is all of the, pretty much is everything for the pushback tug. So relatively simple, but um, definitely really nice. So, and then moving on to the carp. So, um, pretty much like the tug, uh, this one doesn't, this one doesn't really say Cypress Turkish Airlines on it, except for the little part there. Um, but it has the KTHY logo on the, kind of the hood of it there, and then on the side, and then the rear of it. Um, fully painted as well. And then for both of, for both of the, um, cargo carts um i do wish the one thing i do wish i really i really wish real toy made these to where they actually were stick they actually were like made to be stuck to the trailer part of it because they do keep falling off but so um just like the tug there is the 
uh, KTHY logo, Cypress Turkish Airlines logo, and then the blue stripe on the bottom of there as well. Um, it's not painted, it is the sticker. And then same thing for the other one as well. Um, same exact design and uh, lettering there as well. So, um, definitely really, really nice, really nicely designed playset. I definitely will have to say that. It is really nicely designed. Um, I'm glad that these aren't bent either. I know that um, for the Caledonian 767, these were kind of bent and they would not kind of stick to it. So, then moving on to the last vehicle in the playset, which is the bus. Um, this, the, the, the bus for this one actually is pretty interesting because it does have a couple other designs that aren't usually on the other buses. For example, there is the black stripe. As you can see on the top, there is this black stripe that goes through uh, both of the sides at the top of it. The KTHY, so the Cypress Turkish Airlines logo, and then the KTHY lettering on there as well, Cypress Turkish Airlines. Same, lo same logo on the side with the blue stripe on the bottom as well. Definitely goes well together with the entire with the entire plane. And then the signs are the usual signs that came in all of the more European models. With the blue, the red exclamation point, emergency, triangle sign, telephone sign, the triangle windsock sign, and then the two uh, suitcases that came in there as well. So, well, that is the entire playset. So pretty much everything that was shown on the um, everything that was displayed on the box art image is what is included in the entire playset. So that pretty much is all of the review for this playset. So um, definitely is a very nice model, one of my favorites in my collection, and I'm really glad that I was able to purchase this model and that it is now part of my collection. Definitely probably is one of the rarest, if not the rarest plane in in my collection considering that I had never heard of it before. Um, and it's a completely new model to me and it is also really nice that it is another new addition to the um, overall uh, Turkish 737 models that we all now know exist. So. Um, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, this was probably one of my first actual unboxing videos in a while where I fully unboxed the whole plane. So um, let me know what your thoughts are on this model down in the comments below. And also if you knew that this model existed. Uh, if you do Google Cy Cyprus Turkish Airlines Airport Playset, um, you will be able to find an actual picture of the playset. Uh, it was not open before. But it pretty much is exactly what this was with the plastic still on the box. Um, but which that was the picture I think is on Worth Point, which is from uh, years back. But that pretty much is all I found of it. Other than that, there is no other way. I think you can pretty much find any information about this model. So, um, well, thank you for watching. And remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.